Thank you to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. Due to the pandemic, many people like myself have been working from home. And as a matter of fact, I've been working from home the past 226 days. I have to admit that at first it was difficult transitioning from being in office around my coworkers and friends, collaborating with each other, going on snack runs and coffee runs, AKA fake Starbucks is what we like to call it. But now our means of communication is through a virtual chat or conference call. It was difficult at first, but I'm extremely blessed to have the ability to do my job anywhere as long as I have access to my laptop and Wi-Fi. So Python used to be my favorite programming language when it came to doing coding challenges and you know technical interviews. The reason being is because it's really easy to set up. You could just run a Python script and start practicing just like that through the terminal. Also, Python is dynamically typed, so you don't have to worry about any annotations. Basically, it was just easier to code and work on those, you know, coding challenge questions and get to get some practice underneath my belt. The thing is, I haven't used Python in over like two years, like basically since college, which is why I'm happy to be working with DataCamp. DataCamp is an interactive experience that makes it easy for you to build your data science and analytical skill sets at your own pace with expert instruction and over 330 interactive courses combined through videos and hands-on exercises. You can learn programming languages and software development tools like Python, R, SQL, Pandas, and more. DataCamp's lessons are bite-sized, so you can learn in a way that fits your schedule along with using any device. It also conveniently tracks your courses so you can find what fits your needs at a glance. The best way to learn is to apply what you've learned and then through practice. Using the interactive practice, it can help you refresh your memory and brush up on skill sets that you've had in the past or new skill sets. I personally started the introduction to Python course and done some interactive practice, which was a really nice experience and a quick way to brush up all my skill sets. As a front end developer, I greatly appreciate the user experience of DataCamp's platform. One thing you don't want to do while you're learning something new is struggling trying to find courses or navigating a platform. But with DataCamp, you don't have to worry about that at all. It's really easy to navigate. You can find all the courses you need at a glance. Also, be sure to master your new skill sets with real world projects and daily practice. I encourage you to sign up for DataCamp using this personalized link that will also be in the description box. Subscriptions start at $25 a month with unlimited access to the courses, both on desktop and mobile. You also will have unlimited access to assessment tests that will guide you through, you know, starting to learn those new skill sets or new programming languages or, you know, software development tools. I think this is a great deal, especially for those of you all who are interested in, you know, data analytics, data science, and backend development. Once again, thank you to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. A routine is something that's never really excited me. As a matter of fact, if you ask any of my friends or my wife, they tell you I'm free flowing, spontaneous. I don't really like scheduling or planning things. That really drains me. I prefer having an open schedule and just going with the rhythm of how my day flows. However, I started getting into the routine of making coffee and I'm not the most avid coffee drinker. I don't drink it every day because one, I just get jittery, but also don't want my body to rely on anything in order to wake up or feel motivated. Needless to say, the process of making coffee daily is part of my routine because one, I've thoroughly enjoyed the pour over routine. The room is filled with the aroma of a fresh cup, which smells amazing. And most importantly, it makes my wife smile. Over these past 226 days, I've learned that routines are healthy. They give me something to look forward to and the specific routines I try to stick to doing at least once a day is working out, whether that's simply taking a walk, a Peloton hit workout or strength training, along with the process of making a good cup of pour over coffee. During this very unpredictable and quite stressful time, you can lower stress levels by having a healthy routine. It's one thing I definitely recommend. It doesn't drain you, it definitely energizes you. Throughout this extended work from home experience, I've adapted and learned some new ways to keep a healthy work environment along with staying inspired and motivated to be the best version of myself. So I decided to share these four tips with you. 
If you've been following my channel the past year or so, I've made a handful of videos dedicated to my workspace. One, because it's so fun making that type of content and you know switching up my workspace. Also, it's something that we really hold dearly as developers because we're always at our desks. But it's, it's really important to have a designated workspace for your home to work so you can start working more effectively along with easily stepping away from your work and not having an unhealthy work or study life balance where you're working and studying all over the house, building an unhealthy routine, not dedicating a space to relax and spend time with those you love or doing what you love. Also over extended periods of time, ergonomics of your workspace become more and more important because those hours of bad posture or an uncomfortable setup can have a negative impact on your body along with the overall quality of your work. Communication is something that I've personally been working on because as a software developer, it's really easy to get into your own little world and in the weeds of programming without really communicating with your coworkers. For one, communication with your coworkers, professors, peers, and friends via Teams, Zoom, or whatever conference calling capable app you use is a great way to have a better sense of community along with feeling more a part of the overall goal your team is trying to accomplish. Along with that, you also feel this sense of positively contributing to your team or department. Also, it's great for your mental health to communicate with others, whether you're talking about work or having a Zoom lunch meeting or a simple you know, study sesh with the homies. Simply asking someone how their day is going can also really make a difference, especially during times like these. Last but not least, fitness. A fitness routine is something I really can't live without. Honestly, moving your body is something you absolutely need, especially in the circumstance where you're not as active as you used to be because you're, you know, quarantining or working from home. We no longer, you know, get a chance to be a little active at work where we, you know, walk across the building or down a hallway to go to our next meeting. We now just hit a button and we're there. Voila. I personally have had a lot of fun riding my bike around the city and exploring nearby parks along with using the Peloton app to work out with my wife and one of my friends. The workouts actually really challenge me and you don't have to leave the comfort of your home because there are a ton of bodyweight workouts so there's no excuse not to work out. Also, you might notice that you can get some of your best ideas while working out. You can also get out of whatever, you know, funk or unmotivated slump by simply challenging your body through fitness. You'll also notice that sitting at a computer screen all day, you know, banging your head against this problem that you just can't figure out can be less effective than having, you know, dedicated slots to work and dedicated slots to go, you know, get some sort of exercise and releasing those endorphins. And you, and you might even solve that problem by doing a burpee or going on a jog. Okay, maybe not a burpee, probably something like a jog or a walk. So this concludes my video. I hope this was helpful. Comment down below some of your tips for working and studying from home. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love for you all to become a part of this fam. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace.